Okay, ladies and gentlemen, lately in class we've been talking about energy. And we know that there's two main forms of energy. We have potential and kinetic energy. And we also talked about the fact that energy is the ability to do work. And work is going to tell us how much energy we are using in order to walk or run or pick up something or push something across the floor or um, make a tackle in football. So we need two things in order to do that. We need force and distance. And then over here is our equation, which is force times distance. So force is measured in newtons. We all know that newtons are part of that. And distance is in meters. So we know that energy is measured in joules. So work is going to be measured in joules. So the work is equal to the amount of force applied times the distance that is traveled. So let's take, for example, our problem down below. It says a forklift moves. 34 meters carrying a box, a 1,223 newton box across the warehouse floor. How much work is done by the forklift? So if we look, we have 1,023 newtons times 34, and then that's going to give us our amount of work that we've done. And the forklift does 34,007. 182 joules of work. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an indication as to what work is and in class today we'll examine some of that further.